Hey Atheist Republic, uh, my name is Adam. I live in Canada, in the province of Saskatchewan, or as it's known this time of year, uh, Canada's frozen sphincter. It's a real winter fucking wonderland outside now. Get a white Christmas here. Um, hope this all turns out. I'm not very good at filming stuff. I do see my beard is getting towards wizarding level, which is cool, but off topic, so I'll get back to it here. Um, I'll just share how I became an atheist with you guys. And I was raised in a devoutly Roman Catholic family. Both my parents are still devout Roman Catholics and get to Mass as often as they can. It used to be every week, but, you know, they're a little elderly now. They have a hard time getting around, so they don't always get there. But I'm sure their God will forgive them for that. Um, anywho, my brothers and I... Uh, we went to Catholic school from kindergarten to grade 12, and before I get too much into that, I'll just quickly explain that uh, it's a religious school, but not in the sense that many people would think of a religious school. It's a Catholic school in Canada that's not a private school, is bound to the same restrictions and uh, guidelines for curriculum and subject matter that a public school is so we'd learn all the same stuff they do just we'd have a hour a day for what was called christian ethics class which is basically bible study <clears throat> and you know my journey to atheism you know it started young i think i think when you're younger you pick up on the bigger stuff like the earth is flat the earth has a big fuck off dome over top of it the earth is on pillars and not moving and the stars are like set in the firmament and all this garbage and then it would be the same teachers who would then after that class was up would uh and don't get me wrong i had great experiences at catholic school and the rest of the classes these are the people that would uh they taught me logic and reason and properly sourcing arguments for debates and they teach you the big bang theory and evolution and how the cells work and how you know some elements were made during the big bang and the ones that weren't were made when stars go supernova and create new elements and they basically teach you all the logic and reasoning skills you need to dismantle religion and so of course you notice immediately the contradictions there but you notice that pretty quickly that science has proof for what it's saying and the religious part doesn't but that's the early stuff you notice you know as you get older you start to look at the societal impacts of religion and what it's teaching and I especially don't care for what uh, Christianity teaches about women uh, stuff in the laws about uh, stoning your wife if she's not a virgin on your wedding night and women are worth half what a man is worth and you know slavery is okay and homosexuality is bad you know shellfish are bad all this you know crap that doesn't sound like it's directly revealed from god and you know it just i don't see how teaching that women are inferior to men is conducive with a progressive society so I do my best to you know argue for secularism whenever I have the opportunity to so we can keep uh, religion and politics separate and basically that's it I mean you look at the crimes the Catholic Church has committed with the sexual abuse and honestly you don't have to look far to find a reason to not be a Catholic these days but as for belief in God itself it boils back to those arguments like it's always toted as the divine word and divine revelation straight from god's mouth but if god created everything in the universe including all life how does he not know that a bat for instance is not a fucking bird i mean are you kidding me i mean it's like one instance like that just starts all the pieces falling apart in your head until you're left with a clean slate that science is going to build back up with actual verifiable truths and I think you end up a better person for it so anyways uh, I'd love to get into way more detail about that there's so many examples I can think of of disconnects between what's in the Bible and what's in objective reality but uh, we'll save that for another time and uh, hopefully we can pick this up again sometime uh, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, happy holidays, everybody at Atheist Republic, whatever you're celebrating or not celebrating uh, in the coming week. See you guys. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.